Mina Isatus Maisise and CDCR Network Day at the National Emergency Response Center concerning the press conference where the National um, Malaria Control Program call concerning the distribution of the treated bed nets we go start now the country. We they go now the all now outside the conference they take place. Our chairman for this program is the program manager of the Health Education Division and also the pillar lead for the risk communication department. Without wasting much time, let me introduce to you Mr. Harold Thomas as our chairman for this meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, PRO. Um, I want to um, thank you very much for coming, especially the members of the press at short notice for owning our invitation. We are here to actually um, update you on events, particularly on the um, bed net distribution. You may be aware that um, we have um, distributed bed nets to every district except Western Area, Urban, and Rural. Because we earlier planned this intervention, but because of the current situation, the Corona, um, um, the COVID-19 outbreak in Sayun and the pandemic, the world over, um, we had to shift this date several times. But um, it's important for us to carry out this activity because looking at um, Malay, um, coronavirus, one of the cardinal signs is fever. And also for coronavirus also, fever is one of the cardinal signs. And it is important in some ways to ensure that we do this activity. That is the distribution of um, insecticide treated nets to the, uh, everybody in the, the country. I mean, every household. Because by so doing, we'll be able to prevent malaria. As we know, malaria tops the charts in you know uh, daily disease reporting in Sierra Leone, and um, it can also mimic Corona because they have similar signs and symptoms. And um, we are also saying that even with um, coronavirus, there are other diseases, conditions, and events of public health importance, and we should continue our normal routine health services. So that is why we have decided not to stop the distribution because of the current situation in the country and in the world. So we have also decided on a date for the Western area, urban and rural, which is Friday 19th to Sunday 28th June. And um, we will be distributing you know, bed, insecticide bed nets to the population, entire population. We have our targets, as you know, the subject matter experts will um, talk through this. And um, so um, without much ado, we'll go straight um, to the program. And um, we would now ask, um, that um, the um, deputy um, the director of um, the program, um, the, the Malaya, um, the, the program manager of um, Malaya program, would um, give an overview of um, the 2020 LLIN mass distribution campaign. And I have pleasure in introducing to you Dr. Tsui, who will talk to that. Over to you, sir. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, Honorable Deputy Minister of Health and Sanitation, uh, colleagues at the high table, ladies and gentlemen, 
I want to observe all protocols. I, I want to first of all bring greetings from the National Malaria Consultancy and especially our director, Disease Prevention and Control, Dr. Jana Smith. Today is a very, very important day, and uh, we all know what is malaria in this country. If we take into consideration all the diseases in Sierra Leone, malaria, tops, all of them, the prevalence of malaria as it stands now is about 40%, and that one is very, very high. It is indeed the biggest killer disease in this country, especially the under fives and the pregnant women. Now, every three years in this country, to reduce the burden of malaria, the National Malaria Control Program under the Ministry of Health and Sanitation with our various partners distribute um, a long lasting insecticide treated nationwide. This exercise is done every three years. And the reason for that is the reason for that is Yeah. Uh, we want to make sure that we control the body of money. Because we usually say prevention is better than cure. So if we prevent the disease, it will be better for us. Now, this year, 2020, is another year. And the ministry with the, the National Malaria Control Program has brought 4.6 million bed nets to this country. They are all over the place now. And uh, those 4.6 million bed nets are meant for everyone. This time round, it is not just a target population. You know we distribute bed nets, routine bed nets, for the under five and pregnant women. That is the routine. A pregnant woman goes to the clinic, you know, for the first time. You know, since they are very, very vulnerable for the disease of malaria, we give them an insecticide to their bed so that they can sleep on the night. We don't want them to be bitten by uh, mosquitoes and get malaria. You know, the same thing we do for. Uh, and the under five when they go for their vaccination. Because these two groups, they are very, very vulnerable. Now, this year is very, very unique. When we planned, we never planned for coronavirus. We never had that in mind. But when the planning process was completed, and we were just about to start the mass distribution of insecticide treated bed net. Then came coronavirus into the country. So that has affected the distribution exercise. But as a ministry, what we did is to change the strategy. Malaria, as I said earlier, is killing a lot of people. As I'm speaking to you now, malaria is killing people more than the coronavirus. Honestly, if we look at the figures right now, then we take into consideration the beginning of coronavirus in this country to date. And look at the deaths caused by malaria and coronavirus, definitely 
caught me anywhere, the number of deaths due to malaria is far, far higher than coronavirus. So that is why we cannot suspend it, anything. Coronavirus is around, but we have to make sure that we distribute the baby. This advice is also coming from the big and all other important partners all over the world. All the countries where we have a malaria endemic, if they have planned for the distribution, the mass distribution of insecticide to take, then they have to go ahead and do it, despite the presence of uh, COVID-19. That is exactly what we are doing here. So, the 4.6 million bed nets are already here. And the funding for this bed nets came from Global Fund and President Malaria Initiative from American government. And uh, the process has already started. I think uh, we have uh, a briefing with you. Uh, we invited a good number of you to our office to inform you about the distribution of this insecticide treated bed day in the 14 district. In the 14 district. So in May, we did house to house registration and distributed net in the 14 districts. That one has been completed. To be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, we separated this exercise because of the uniqueness of Western area urban and rural. The population in Western area urban and rural is very, very high. And we have a lot of hard to reach areas here. So, the manpower we have in the ministry, if we are to do all the 16 districts at the same time, I think uh, we would have had a lot of challenges. So that is why we decided to leave out Western area urban and rural. After completing the 14 districts, then we can come back and strategize to do the distribution in the Western area. So that is exactly what is going to happen now. The strategies that are in place, not forgetting the COVID-19. Because everything has been modified. The plans we had before have been modified. So that we have to take into consideration the situation of the COVID-19. That is why it is a new strategy. So, come the 19th of June, that, that is this Friday coming, we are starting the house to house, the registration, and giving out vouchers so the households in the western area urban and rural so that households can go to distribution points to get their benefits. So this exercise is starting on Friday the 19th of June and it will end on the 28th of June this year. I want to tell you how this is going to be done. Because if you consider the population in Freetown alone, just here, it is very, very high. So we have teams moving from house to house. House to house. We have more than enough teams. 
they have been trained, and they have all the logistics, you know, to move from house to house. And when they go to any house, they have to identify a household. This one is very, very important. You remember, here in free time, some compounds, you can have up to over 100 people in just one compound. And within that compound, you have various households. So the definition for household is people eating from the same pot, people cooking and eating from the same pot, and they are living under the same roof. So we consider them to be a household. You can have, like those polygamous homes, they can have three wives. And each of these wives, they have their kids. You know, so we take them to be different households. We are doing that because we want to have a very good coverage. We don't want to leave anybody out. You know. So, we want to target everybody. So, and the number of nets we give to every household depend on the number of people in that household. If there is only one person in a household, that, that household will just get one net. If you have two people in the household, they will still get one net. If we have three, four people in the household, they will get two nets. So if we have five and above, please, this one is very, very important. Five and above, they will get three nets. So we are not giving more than three insecticide treated bed nets to a household. That's the maximum we can give. The, the people who are doing the distribution are well trained. When they go to any house, they will use that discussion because they are trained, because they don't want to leave out anybody without a net. You know? And when they go, uh, they do their registration. Uh, the registration is not done like the census we used to have in this country. They can, have, they can just ask the head of the household how many members in that household. And when that number is given, then they exactly know the number of vouchers. Because they are moving house to house with vouchers. They do the registration and they have the vouchers based on the number of people in the household they issue the vouchers. I think I have gone over that. One, two people, one, three, four, they will get two vouchers. Then uh, five and above, they will get three. So they issue these vouchers to the households. Already, we have distribution points all over. Western area, urban and rural. So these teams will tell the household the distribution point where they should go and exchange the voucher they have received for the bed net. So these 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 uh, vouchers they take to these distribution points and they are supplied with their bed net. So, this is the strategy we are using. In addition to that, because of the COVID-19, we have a social mobilizer moving from house to house with this thing. 
And the responsibility of that social of life is to talk to the people about COVID-19. For example, they have to sensitize the communities about hand washing, the use of masks, you know, if you are sick, to go to the nearest facility, you know, then the, if you are coughing, <laughs> the cough etiquette, you know. But the most important thing there during this campaign, you, you know, like we say, Western areas is overcrowding. That shows a distance. That shows a distance. A lot of people will have the coupons at the same time. And when you go to claim that business, there will be a lot of crowd. So we have recruited people also, you know, to control the crowd. Those crowd controllers at the distribution points are also there so that uh, people will stay, you know, apart from each other to get their needs. You know. So it is not easy because we have a lot of hard to reach areas in the western area of the rural. Remember some of those mountain, mountainous areas? These things will be moving to all those places. No place will be left out. No place will be left out. So please, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are all in this together. So I'm appealing on behalf of the National Malaria Pro Control Program and the Minister of Health and Sanitation and our partners for your cooperation to sensitize the communities to get this message out there so that they can cooperate. Freetown <laughs> is overcrowded. Some people will leave their homes, go to the market, or go to other places, and uh, there will be no responsible person in the home, you know, uh, so that uh, these uh, registration teams can talk to them, do the registration and issue a voucher. Because we don't want to encourage kids to receive this voucher they can space. So I'm appealing to everybody here, please to support the ministry so that this exercise can be properly done. I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Let's give him a yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, um, Dr. Tui. Um, he has um, clearly articulated the importance of um, the bed net, especially in the prevention of um, um, malaria and control of malaria in Sierra Leone. And he has also stressed the importance of um, other messages, the health messages with regards to um, the current situation we are in, that is COVID-19. Um, and um, as media house practitioners, it's very important because um, your role actually, you are uh, the main source of health information, especially to the public. So I hope um, his message will be well circulated so that we influence um, attitudes and also increase knowledge on the use of bed needs. At this stage, I would want to call on the Honorable um, Deputy Minister of Health, um, Dr. Sandy, to give a statement. Over to you, Mr. Minister. Sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Am I audible, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm fearing to use the, yeah. the mic. We can hear you, sir. Mr. Chairman, members of the Fourth Estate, colleagues all, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government of Sierra Leone, under the leadership of His Excellency the President, retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Madabio, I'm very much delighted to be here to, this morning to grace this all-important ceremony of press briefing 
with members of the fourth estate on the house-to-house -house insecticide treated bed nets distribution campaign in the western urban and rural areas. Ladies and gentlemen, it is crystal clear that malaria each year kills more than a million people worldwide. And specifically in Sierra Leone, malaria remains one of the prime causes of death among children, one of the big causes of medical consultations and hospitalization. According to Malaria Report 2019, Malaria is a widespread pandemic disease that caused over 400,000 deaths globally in 2018. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, government is committed to providing accessible, affordable, and quality healthcare service to all Serenians, irrespective of tribe, region, and politics. Mr. Chairman, malaria is a high burden disease in sub-Saharan Africa, and 70% of the people vulnerable are pregnant women and children under five years. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, over the, two past, the past two decades, the National Malaria Control Program, under the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, in collaboration with partners, have done substantial work to dramatically control the disease and progress is tangible and visible in all the various communities countrywide. In view of the above, we as a government are determined to maintain and accelerate progress towards malaria elimination with more determination than ever. In view of which, Global Fund has financed half of the needed bed nets and President's Malaria Initiative, US Aid, also financed the remaining half of the neglected, of the needed 4.6 million insecticide treated bed nets to achieve universal coverage. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we must all be committed to using bed nets every night and all year round, as well as ensuring that pregnant women and children access preventive medications and that diagnosis and treatment is sought immediately if fever is suspected. Mr. Chairman, as a responsible government under the new direction, we are committed to ensure the control of malaria in the COVID-19 pandemic in Sierra Leone, which should similarly not be neglected. In view of this, therefore, I'm humbly appealing to you all, wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% of alcohol. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Practice cough and sneeze ethics, either in a bent elbow or by using a tissue which should be disposed of immediately. Wear a cloth face mask when in public to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and always maintain social distancing like we have done here similarly. I thank you all and God bless us all. As an adolescent awaiting the Deputy Minister of Health and Sanitation and also the Deputy Director for the National Malaria Control Program, now the Ministry of Health and Sanitation talk about the malaria bed net distribution where go start na the country. Mina Aisatus Maisi say until we meet again, I say tata.